morning. Morning. Dad and I are just walking out to the start of our 10k run at Buffalo Stampede today. Dad's ready. <laughs> Be good to get a bloody uh, picture of the mountain we're going to run up, but we need binoculars to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, essentially going up there. Yeah. She's a bit cool. Mm. You know, Buffalo Stampede's in town when this signs up. Oh, and the future of that. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Up on everyone. We there yet? Well done. Hey guys. See you soon. That's three Ks. Oh, I'm going this way. Here's where the climbing starts, guys. Yep. <laughs> You've got it. You right? <laughs> Comes Dad on his first up. Come up the middle. No, sorry, sorry. Not a bad view. All right. It warms up. <laughs> Gets better the higher you go. <laughs> well done. You okay? Yeah, I'll be. Oh, good. Nice casual Friday morning at school. Yeah. yeah. Why not, eh? Hey? Yeah. You been here before? Or? No, first time. Yeah? Oh, you'll love it. We get to the top of, uh, this is uh, Mystic, and oh, okay. we get to the top of a landing pad and people paraglide off it and everything. It's a really good view. Amazing. Yeah, oh, you'll love it. Well, hopefully I'll get to the top. Oh, you'll get there. You'll get there and then you'll get up to Clear Spot. Yeah. Well done, guys. Thanks, mate. Doing well, lad? Not really. <laughs> so, so, um, the way you want to use your poles, at least the way I found that works good for me, is you want to step down with your left foot as you're using your right arm 
So then you're supporting each side. Go on, mate, don't give up. You've got this. See, you're smiling. You can keep going. It's good. You're doing well. Can you said last night you enjoy doing these things with me. <laughs> you lied, didn't you? Pardon? <laughs> Well done, I'll catch up. Wow. Well done guys. <laughs> That's alright. Oh, dead hand. Oh good. Well done guys. <laughs> How you going, Kirsten? <laughs> All good. Yeah. Hey, Marie, have you got the camera five times? Oh, you're yours only, though. Good. No, I've got the glasses. I'm going to put my whole bag off here, Marie. Oh, I'll get yours out. There you go. Here's my photo. Here comes Dad climbing up Mystic. <laughs> oh, you got it. Well done. Yeah, I'll live on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the stick. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you've got it. And your stick. Thank you. Done it. Yay. All right. Yeah, that's it. You've got it. Hey. <laughs> No. Well done. Just a few stragglers. No You've problem. got it. <laughs> you got it. Thank you so much. No worries. All good? Not pinky though. No worries. <laughs> All good, buddy? All right. How you going? Yeah. I'm dying a little bit, so that's all. Ah, oh, you can do it. Yeah. Well, I surely. Yeah. Just keep moving forward. Five Ks. Done or just like done. Both. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not thinking straight. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Bit 
still finish. <laughs> the first year I did uh, 42 and made the finish by four minutes. Yeah. I walked it. It's a hell of an effort. I don't know how I did that. I think I collapsed time. Yeah. Because I'm sure. When I was going up to the end, I was, I was sure it was about 10.02. Yeah. Yeah. How did the time have kept the clock in that time? Yeah. They've changed the cut-off times for the marathon now. Yeah, they do that every year. What is it now? Well, I'm hoping it's still nine hours. Mm. Last year it took me nine hours 40. Yeah. Well done. How are you feeling? Good. That's why I'm all right. Oh, they're good. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. And they're keeping it that way now. Yeah. Yeah. Not Which I don't mind. Doesn't necessarily make it as easy as you think it would be, though, does it? No. I find once you've done the chalet up yeah. the top and you come down, yeah. that because it's like ten k's of going down. Yeah. And it just kills your quads. I did. I went too hard last year and I twisted my ankle five times in the first 15 k's. Uh, still finished, but. Uh, shocking. It was more my knees. I got to clear spot and I sat down. Because I had like 40 minutes on the cutoff yeah. to get to that spot, that is. <laughs> and then after I got back up, it was just a completely different game. Uh, I could harder. hardly. Harder? It, is it harder? Yeah. yeah. I, um. Yeah, I couldn't bend my knees. Mm -hmm. And coming down here, I was just like, that little steps. <laughs> No. Nah. And I was cramping. I had a bit of a ITB pain. Yeah. And some bloke on the course gave me Hanagan Fort. Yeah. And uh, since then, I always carried some with me. Yeah. Because it was a mess. It was like a mess. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't so much a pain, it was more a lack of flexibility. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I'm fine. Sweat dripping. There's a pool under your feet. <laughs> How you guys going? Yeah, I'm good. Cruising. Yeah. How you doing? Yep. Beginning to think. I should have done the ten. Don't give up. No, I won't give up. What are you doing? Yeah. I don't mind the hills. I don't like coming down. Oh, I love coming down. Oh. That's why I'm here. You two will be good together. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yep. Have some electrolytes. Yeah. 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 What flavours did you put in that? Vanilla. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Just made it to the top of Mystic. I have to record it. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Yeah, what you need to do, Jay, is you need to 
His dad finishing his climb to Mystic. Okay. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Yeah. Great view. Yeah. Well, we made it. To so here. Yeah. No, I accidentally had it on um oh what is it burst photos, so it just took like 30 photos. Oh. <laughs> okay. 30 images of the same picture. <laughs> Yeah. Well done, buddy. You're doing great. Stay strong. Yeah, the last few leaders came through. There's about eight of them. Yeah. Looks like he's got a fair gap. Yeah, I was at the uh, top of Clear Spot volunteering last year for the. 10 and 20 and the first guy that came through bloody hell he was flying yeah it's where you start the in incoming <laughs> boulders that's what I worry about Any of you guys done roller coaster before? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> GoPro start recording. Well done. Doing well, mate. Stay strong. Maybe. I'll live. That's not my walking stick. <laughs> well done, buddy. Stay strong. Seriously sucks. <laughs> no, you've got it. Thank you. It'll be cool in the next few days for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the fun bit. Yeah. The last two Ks. I gotta come back. Uh, <laughs> uh, you've got it. Alright, let's go. Well done. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Stay strong.
Well done. How are you feeling? Not too bad. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, you've got it. Stay strong. Go on, Dad. Come on. You've got it. You guys waiting for someone still, or? Uh, yeah, recover. Yeah. Well done. Where's Dad gone? Go on, Dad. Keep moving. Well done. You need a hand? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to trail running. <laughs> or sky running. Yeah. 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 Is everything all right? Yeah. 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 You going to be okay? Yeah. Thanks, Good stuff. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Can you run up that one? <laughs> you ran up the past couple. Come on. <laughs> well done. Thanks. No worries. Thank you. Well done. You've got it, mate. Stay strong. Nice work. Well done. Well done. Head up, Dad. You've got it. You've got it. Made it mine. She wanted to be yours. She made it mine. <laughs> there we go. I feel something. Do you want it to see fly? <sighs> Keep going, Dad. Couple of these. I've just had two. Two of these. Yeah. Yeah, at the top of Mystic. Yeah. Yeah. You've, you're probably going to take a while to get up here, though. Yeah. Put too much water in there. Extra weight. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. One. Just one of them. Yeah. <sighs> we come down that. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Where's me? Let's go. Let's keep going. Right, you too. Okay, How are you good. feeling? Good, mate. Good well done. Stay good. strong. Doing well, stay strong. Hey. hey guys, people are starting to really struggle. Wood climbing up a clear spot now. A lot of 20k runners have turned around now. I'm just doing my best to keep these guys going. There's dad and about five others around me, and they're really struggling. I'm doing my best to keep them going. I'm actually really enjoying this. Uh, Dad's in a world of pain, he hasn't got much left in him. Um, 
I've just stopped here. I had to change the batteries. I accidentally left this recording too long, I think. Uh, so still got a bit of an up. We've got about a k and a half to go, but we'll get there. We've got an hour and 15 to do it. Might be close. Who knows? We'll see how we go. Bye. And here's Dad finishing his tem. Nearly 15 minutes quicker. Thirteen minutes oh. quicker than last year. Thirteen. Here's Dad after he's finished his 10k at Buffalo again. After swearing his head off, saying I can't fucking keep going. <laughs> At the... I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> at like, 9Ks. <laughs> well, I just said I had to stop a little bit and rest for relaxation. Recovery. Yeah. Another year done and dusted. Mm. Time to recover and uh, have some pizza. Brewery again tonight. Mm. Yep, brewery. Another beer. Definitely be having a beer tonight. <laughs> Another beer and I'll find something else on the menu. Stop. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, really. yeah. It just turns the back screen off. Yeah. You're in sunlight a bit too. Yeah. It actually does pretty well, the sunlight. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'll have the hamburger. No. Well, I don't think I'll be having the pizza. Yours didn't taste crash hot. Steak night! Bye bye. So yeah, that concludes today's uh, run. Dad's just gone back inside to have a coffee and a shower. I've had a few more laps of the pool. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how I go on Sunday. Today was pretty easy though my left calf muscle was playing up I don't know if it's because I was out there for so long or oh, who knows I think it's just uh, being a little sensitive I've uh, given it a bit of a massage and it's helped it to be in the water I'll have a warm shower and foam roll later today uh, tomorrow will be Park run day, I'm just gonna walk the 5Ks and volunteer where needed for the 75. Maybe I'll go to the top of Clear Spot or somewhere. Go over to Euroban, that'll be a nice spot. Um, and go from there. <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks for watching this video so far. I'm thinking I might do one big video for this whole weekend, see how it goes. Uh, I've already chewed through one battery so I'll have to put these on the charge and see what I can record tomorrow. Uh, it'll be good to see uh, a few of my mates again. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we'll get going soon, go back to the finish line and cheer people on as they come through. Thanks guys, bye. The trails everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Strava heat map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I got mine as my. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I've got mine as my backdrop on, on my uh, laptop. Mine I think we came up <laughs> this way last year. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I could like, oh, I've done that one. I need to get that on with it. That's it. Yeah. It's cheaper than collecting something expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the life of a trail runner, hey? My feet are saturated, yeah? yeah. Pardon? No. I'll be right. These are pretty good for blisters and all that. About the only extra thing I packed was a space blanket and an extra head buff. This is how we come down Mystic, or clear spot. We just slide down. Yeah. Yeah, guys! Keep it going! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. I made part of it. Salutations, weary travellers. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video up to this point. Uh, as you can tell, I didn't really uh, record that much of the Sky Marathon, so I thought I'd share some video footage of the drive home. So, overall, Scott, the Sky Marathon went absolutely amazing. Uh, you'll see for the videos that I was with someone, and that was uh, Megan Brown from Salem District Road Runners, or Salem District Runners, I should say. And we did pretty much 90 eight percent of the run together there was like one climb going up to clear spot and the last little bit of mixed track where uh, Megan kicked my ass there but uh, overall we spent a lot of time together for this run and I think that was one of the contributing factors for why I did so well it was nice to have someone there and I wasn't stuck in my head the whole time there was a point going up clear spot that uh, there was one lady there and she was going to send me nuts uh, if I had stayed with her she kept asking all these questions and um, me getting stuck in my head at that point was not a good time for that to happen so I was powering up the hill as quickly as I could and as soon as it got to something that resembled a flat I would run at least a little bit like maybe a hundred or 150 meters or as much as I could and then keep going and I didn't end up seeing her again uh, overall I'm really happy with the run had a hell of a time coming down clear spot as you can tell with the muddy uh, terrain that we had it was lots of fun there was actually someone down the bottom of the clear spot that said everyone looked really happy when they were coming down there uh, I'm pretty happy with how easy the run felt so I was just a massive turnaround for me from roller coaster to be going from two kilometers in roller coaster not really feeling it to now doing 
what felt like an easy Buffalo stampede, even with a 10 kilometer added in on Friday. So it's really gotten my hopes up to do the Grand Slam next year, which will be the 20 kilometers, the 75 and the 42. And that's going to be a preparation for my next journey after this 100 kilometers as well. Just going to keep these training sessions going. I did have a uh, dry needling on Tuesday and then I've been up to Sydney for the funeral as people know and this week it's not supposed to be a low mileage week I've just done the best I could today's run was actually hard <laughs> um, but anyway I'm getting off topic from Buffalo Stampede so the course wasn't a proper 42 kilometers as people know and it was an alternate course so we don't run through as much of the Buckland Valley as we were supposed to and we don't do the wall spot anymore and I really enjoyed the climb to clear spot didn't feel too bad and to actually have bits where you could run was a big game changer and at the end of the day it was like 2 hours 20 quicker than last year now given that three kilometers we didn't do I know those three kilometers and they were in the galleries and I'm able to run those spots it's just a matter of getting to the um, boulders and getting through them as quickly as you can and whatever hold up you have with people in front of you so I still think even with those three kilometers it would have still been like an hour and 45 minute PB which is absolutely amazing for me so I'm really happy with the turnaround I had with uh, the severe amount of training that I was doing leading up to Buffalo. Uh, some highlights of the run were seeing my friends and uh, catching up with Brian Lester climbing clear spot. He's an absolute legend. I absolutely love what he's done and what he's doing and doing a shout out in a video <laughs> that I just strolled into when I was climbing clear spot it was great to see him and great to see that he was still going he uh, kicked my ass from that point onwards though I don't know how I caught up to him because he just smashed me in the last parts uh, what else can I say I didn't really have a lot for fuel and it's weird to say that as people would remember last year I was having like a gel like every 45 minutes I was so strict on my nutrition and I thought that with the lack of my uh, watch last year where I went it went flatter quicker than this year but I just completely lost track and I was overheating and I was cramping and yeah it wasn't a good year last year but I still finished and this year with the temperature being so cold it was like perfect for me I actually really hope that next year it's the same conditions I honestly do I just think it worked in my favor uh, massively uh, going through the checkpoints was no problem I spent not that much time I probably spent more time at the first checkpoint at Eurobin Creek and um, what was it yeah it was pretty much getting some food into me there and then going off to the facilities to have a quick pee and then that was about it I didn't spend too much time at clear spot um, I managed to get some electrolytes about a quarter a cup of coke and just ploughed on through for the finish well as much as I could it was pretty wet and slippery and I'm not really used to those speeds I'm just going to shut my phone up um, yeah, downhills are a bit of a struggle, so I think I'm going to practice them on some training runs. Just figure out a spot, maybe Mount Cannibal or somewhere. Uh, so I don't really want this voiceover to be going for too long. There's so much about Buffalo that I can talk about, and so much I probably don't need to talk about, but it was just an amazing time. I really loved it. It was great to have my friends there and so much support, and just getting to the finish and knowing that I could keep going like I was still running around like an idiot after I'd finished so it's like I had heaps in the tank and I just 
hope I can always finish my uh, big runs like that. Really now, I don't have any events open until the Yu Yang's 100 in July, which is like 12 weeks away, really. Um, I'm like, ah, oh, it's like 11 weeks now, sorry. What week are we up to? Anyway, I'm losing track. So, thanks again guys for watching these videos. Sorry for a lack of video footage for the Sky Marathon. The kilometres just kept ticking away. I was enjoying chatting with everyone. There was a guy that was always catching me on the downs and then when I was running up Keating, he must have left Eurobin before I did because I was in front of him going in there. And then Megan and I had left Eurobin after casually spending a fair amount of time there and we're like oh yep we'll see him on the downhills he'll catch us and we said that to him and he's sitting there going oh, I hope so and we never seen him again so I hope he pulled through it alright and even some of the people that I seen or that I was running the 10k with they were um, out on the course and it was really great to see uh, the French family they uh, had a massive smile when they seen me and I thought oh that's amazing to see them again like we spent so t so, mu ah, so much time together at the uh, uh, 10k just helping each other get along and yeah it was just really good to see them see them happy and recovered and supporting others for their marathon after that so I really appreciate them uh, anyway, I'm actually watching the video that this is going to go over. It's running out of footage, so thank you once again. If you have any questions about this event, feel free to message me or say anything. I know I've left it a bit late. There's so much more I could talk about. Maybe I'll do another video on a short day and just talk about it. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.